Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. A pivot chart shows the data in the same way that a pivot table does, but in a graphic format. You can create a pivot chart either independently from or along with an associated pivot table in Excel. You can also add a pivot chart to an existing pivot table if you didn't create one when you initially created the pivot table. After adding a pivot chart, you can then manipulate it the same way you manipulate pivot table data. One way to create a pivot chart is to click the Pivot Chart drop-down button in the Charts button group on the Insert tab of the ribbon. Then select Pivot Chart to insert only a pivot chart, or select Pivot Chart and Pivot Table to insert both objects. Excel then opens the Create Pivot Chart dialog box. This dialog box is exactly the same as the Create Pivot Table dialog box. Please review the previous lesson titled Manually Creating a Pivot Table to review this process if needed. After making your choices within the Create Pivot Chart dialog box and then clicking the OK button to continue, Excel then inserts a pivot chart and possibly an accompanying pivot table into the location you selected in the workbook. You can then add fields from your data source to the various areas in the pivot chart or pivot table. If you inserted both objects, note that data added or changed within one is also reflected in the other. When you select the pivot chart, you can add data fields into the quadrants in the Pivot Chart Fields task pane. The quadrants are Filters, Legend Series, Axis Categories, and Values. Note that this task pane works the same way as the Pivot Table Fields task pane does. You can also add a pivot chart to an existing pivot table in Excel. To do this, click into any cell within the pivot table to which to add an accompanying pivot chart. Then click the Pivot Chart button within the Charts button group on the Insert tab of the ribbon. Excel then opens the Insert Chart dialog box where you select the chart type and specific subtype to use for your pivot chart. Then click the OK button to insert the pivot chart into the worksheet. You can then use the Pivot Table Fields task pane to manipulate the pivot chart and its associated pivot table. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.